This summer was a real gift for my wife and me. The second anniversary of our marriage was approaching, and we decided to spend this special time with my mother-in-law, who lives in a small picturesque town. Her home, surrounded by greenery and flowers, seemed like a true escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. My mother-in-law, Elizabeth, has always impressed me with her incredible beauty and activity. Although she was 60 years old, she looked like a model on the cover of a glossy magazine. Her long hair was the color of wheat, and her eyes sparkled with clarity and cheerfulness. Her figure remained slim and trim due to her active lifestyle. She practiced yoga regularly, walked outdoors, and took care of her health. The days were spent in a relaxed atmosphere. We walked through the local forests, enjoying the clean air and the crystal clear water of the river that flowed near my mother-in-law's house. On our morning walks, Elizabeth told us interesting stories about her life, how she found the strength to survive her divorce from her husband when she was only 40 years old. We spent a lot of time on the terrace of the house, watching the sunset and enjoying the view of the mountains in the distance. My mother-in-law gave us invaluable advice on how to maintain a happy marriage and how to cherish the moments we spent together. Throughout the time we spent at my mother-in-law's house, she surrounded me with a very strong caring attitude. That's what I thought before everything happened. Now I realize it was much deeper than that. One day my wife and I threw a party for my mother-in-law to celebrate our wedding anniversary. Oddly enough, a few glasses of champagne had a very strong effect on me. We broke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and went to bed. In the evening I got thirsty and went to the kitchen. When I came back, I went to bed and was immediately embraced by tender arms. At some point, I realized that it was not my wife, but my mother-in-law. I panicked and began to explain that I was mistaken. She calmed me down and said that nothing happens that easily. We had a close relationship. Let me tell you right now, I was not on top of things. I had a false start. I quickly got myself together and ran out of her bedroom. My bedroom was right next to hers. They were side by side and the doors are the same. All the next day I walked around depressed, my eyes staring at the floor. When we were about to go to bed, Angelica came over and whispered in my ear, I'll be waiting for you tonight. It was scary, but I put my wife down and went to my mother-in-law's house. The second time was much better. My mother-in-law was passionate, which turned me on even more. We did it in half an hour, and then I went to my wife's bed. The last week we stayed at Angelica's, I came to her at night. After a week we left. I never had a close relationship with my mother-in-law again. A year later, Angelica married. Her husband was 10 years her junior.